Hello and welcome to Chellock Guides in Minutes. I'm Dippy, and it's been over a year since the last guide. F so, as a Christmas gift, I decided to make this tutorial for you all. You'll learn how to make a hands-free toggle, of which will let you easily switch between gestures and normal hand movement. Insert your model into the scene. Then you'll want to search up CVR and you'll find CVR Avatar. Click on that. Click on Gizmos and set up your voice and view transforms. Create an empty folder, right click for your CVR override controller. You can name that whatever you like, for example, best boy. Proceed to drag and drop your controller into the override slot. Grab your body mesh and drag and drop that into the face mesh slot. Go ahead and set up your visemes like your blink and your lip sync visemes. Now you want to enable advanced settings. Now this might seem intimidating at first, but I'll walk you through it. Once that's enabled, drag your... Mm, fuck, I can't speak. Once that's enabled, drag the CVR override controller that you made into the override controller slot. Now click the plus button. This creates your toggle. Name it something like hands free. Make sure it floats like a board. Leave everything as it is and click on create animator. Then attach it to the avatar. Scroll up and double click on your override controller. This takes you to the folder it was generated in. Now proceed to click on the AAS override that doesn't have the plus on it. Hit enter once that's selected and you'll see this. Next navigate over to the layers. Right click and delete the hands free one. We won't be needing it. Double click on left hand. Double click on left relax slash fist. This is a blend tree. We will need to delete hand left fist. Right click and click delete then right click on the blend tree and add blend tree make sure the motion fields and threshold values are set up like this now click on this blend tree and navigate over to the inspector here you will change the parameter to free hands and then proceed to add two motion fields locate your custom animation that you want to use and drag and drop it into the first motion field slot and then for the second motion field slot you want to search up left hand fist and then drag that into the second slot. The animator setup should look a lot like this. Now you want to navigate back to the hand. Now right click on open, click on create new blend tree in state. For convenience sake, let's copy the name of the blend tree. And then you'll want to double click to open it up. Click on the blend tree and paste in the name in its title. Change the parameter to free hands. And then proceed to add two motion fields. Locate the default animation for this gesture. For example, this is left open hand. And then insert it into the second slot. Locate your custom animation that you want to use and drag and drop it into the first motion field slot. The animator setup should look like this. Now you want to navigate back to the hand and repeat what we've done for the left open hand for all the other hand gestures, like this. Now you should be able to go to upload your avatar. Here is a demonstration of me testing it out in Chillout VR. Notice with the toggle disabled, I am emoting with my hands. Now if I enable the toggle, my hand is still in the same position, but I'm not emoting. If I enable it, the emote come back. If I disable it, it goes away. Clearly, it's functioning properly. Thank you for checking out my tutorial, and I hope it helped. If you need further help, you can always check out the Alpha Blend Interactive Discord server, where you can see General Avatar's channel. Thank you again, and Merry Christmas! Samus.